Hi, good afternoon, it's Derek here. I'm just going to do a quick review of some Castelli overshoes that I've just purchased. Um, the sound in the background is me watching Terreno Adriatico. Um, it's quite a bit of cycling on at the moment with Paris Nice as well. Okay, so just before I go on to the Castelli overshoes that I've purchased, uh, these are my old overshoes, the Prenda Ciclismo overshoe, and they've served me really, really well. I've tried plenty of different types of overshoes over the years and they offer many different uh, capabilities and usually they don't quite match up usually in the waterproof stakes um, I don't think you can actually make a completely waterproof overshoe unless you got rid of the hole underneath um, it can be waterproof on the top but eventually rain splashing up from the road will soak through the holes where your screws attach your cleats to your shoe and your sock gets wet and there you go, uh, job done. But um, these have proved really, really good overshoes for me. Um, I got a size medium, even though I have very small feet, uh, primarily just to give me a bit more room in the uh, ankle. Quite often with the small overshoes, they tend to think, I suppose, small is maybe for women, I'm not sure, but um, I have quite muscular calves and I need something a bit wider here to uh, to, to go around my calf. Um, one thing I will say as well is with having a zip fasten at the back and also Velcro, if you're a cyclist as I am, you will notice sometimes you know you get scratching on the back of your leg or you will nip your skin with the zip. Um, over time you'd think developments would have worked around that. Also with uh, the fact that most cycling shoes have some form of velcro fastening um, you would think designers would have made some um, non-grippable material for the top of the shoe so that your foot slides in and out more easily and also allows for a bit less wear and tear as you can see there's a huge amount of bobble in there where my foot has uh, gone in and out of my old overshoe and you can see there why I'm looking to replace them or I have replaced them with the Castelli uh, unfortunately Prendus were out of stock of uh, overshoes when I was looking on their website so um, I ordered some from Wiggle um, I always try and look after things you can see this is quite shiny I usually use something like um, there's a product that you can use for cleaning your car called Son of a Gun and it's designed for rubber and PVC and it just you know brings it back to its original luster and also adds a bit of waterproofing um, I've also got some stuff that I got from my Hunter Wellingtons that I've used on these as well okay on to the Castellis um, nice Castelli logos on the front um, which makes them stand out the website description is as follows light weatherproof overshoes with a three millimeter neoprene construction and thermal welded seams to seal out the wind and rain when your training plan pitches you against torrential rain and freezing cold deluvio which it says is flood um, it must be italian for flood uh, overshoes keep you dry and in control now i've not used these yet in the rain but they are neoprene that's the same sort of stuff they make wetsuits out of so i've got to assume they will be relatively waterproof um, but I have used them, it's been very very cold here uh, in the north of England and very very windy and I've worn these a couple of times and they've really really kept my feet warm no wind penetration whatsoever to speak of um, very very comfortable overshoes as I say I do have thick uh, calf muscles and when I first saw these there is no zip that goes right down to the bottom to allow access it's just a simple velcro uh, attachment and then a slight uh, slight opening here um, and I thought I'll never get those on but uh, they are actually very very easy to get on once you get your foot part of the way in and they, do, they don't tend to stick onto the velcro on your on your shoes um, if you just use this uh, pull attachment here you can easily pull it round and uh, yeah they go on very very easily uh, also the fact that there is no zip doesn't mean there's nothing to pull up and perhaps you know cut into the back of your calf uh, and they are very very stretchy so as long as you can pull this around the back attach the velcro there's no scratching um, plenty of ankle movement and uh, just really really good um, also quite often I have experienced this with other overshoes 
Uh, in fact, also I had some toe covers from Pearl Izumi. Uh, where the uh, cleat comes through, they can make them, the designers can make them a bit too close to your cleat. I suppose it depends which cleat system you use. If you're using, um, I use Look. Um, if they're too close to the cleat, it stops or prevents you from actually um, clicking into the pedal. Um, or if you do manage to get your foot clicked in, there is absolutely no float because it's kind of wedged with the uh, with the material from the overshoe, which can lead to you know uncomfortable knees or uncomfortable ankles as you're riding. But I have not experienced that with these either. So yeah, I'm really impressed with them. They look really good on the bike. Um, not fully fully tested in the rain, but as I say, I, I, I don't think you can have 100% uh, rain protection anyway, depending on how long you're actually out in the rain. Um, one thing I have noticed, your feet do get very, very hot in these because they are neoprene, despite the fact that you know, there's plenty of air passing through, I suppose. When I got back the other day, my shoes were kind of damp with sweat, uh, as were my socks, but uh, I didn't notice anything particularly when I was on the bike. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm impressed with these. They cost... £27 from um, Wiggle here in the UK and so far I would recommend them. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you again soon.